Thank you. Sugar's on the table. There's a cup of tea, Brad. Sure. One of these days, Sid, you'll actually buy one. And I'll drop down dead with shock. Buy one? Yes. Tea is, is free. It's one of the perks that goes with his job. Oh? How are you off for a bit of a touch? It, I beg your pardon? I'm talking about money. I, I, I'm brassically. Y you're always skint, Sid. I'm sorry. No. Oh, Hello, lad. Hello, Sid. Ah, oh, how are you, my old Japan? <laughs> Japan? My old Japan, your rhyming slang meaning friend. No, not Japan, you mean China. The old China plate, me mate. <laughs> Jelly good. <laughs> I don't suppose any of you boys could... No, no, no Sid. Sid. Uh, it's only till payday. No understand. Sorry, please. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> that is... You must have packed the car from under the counter, will you? I've got to get some money somehow. Well, what are you going to do? I'm going to play a little game of find the lady. Oh. oh Nobody yes. might want to play. Oh, they'll have to play when I give them the old come on. Uh, come on what? Yeah, well, you know I've only got a quid till payday. Yeah. Well, if I let somebody win that, they can't stop. It never fails. Now, all I've got to do now is find a mug. Oh. Coffee, please. Hello, mug. Uh, 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 Max. <laughs> <laughs> Max, sir, would you, uh... No, Sid. No, no, I'm not trying to trap you. I thought perhaps you might like a game of cards. I don't like to gamble. Oh, don't be silly. It's only for a bit of fun. Come on, sit down and enjoy yourself. This is called Find the Lady, you see. Now, the lady is a queen. Now, there's the queen, and there's the other two cards. Now, what I do is I shuffle them about, and the object is to see if my eyes could deceive your eyes. The quickness of my hand deceives your eyes. Eric, where is it? There. Oh, you're right. You're very good. You have got sharp eyes, haven't you? Sure I have. <laughs> Do you want to have another go? Yes? Here. Yeah. Where is it? This one. Oh, twice on the turn. Hey, you are very, very good, aren't you? Pretty smart, eh? Nobody's ever beat me twice. Tell you what, if you'd have been playing for money, you'd have won two quid now. Two quid? Yeah. Do you want to go again? OK. Right. Only this time, I bet a pound. I thought you said you don't bet. My father, he teach me two rules of gambling. Huh? First rule, always bet on a certainty. You want this pound? Oh, oh, yes, I'll have a little game of that. Yes, why not? Now then, there's the queen, there's the cart. Hoppa! Where is it? This is the lady. Well, three times on the trot. That's fantastic. Hey, I like this game, Sid. Do you like it? Yes. Good. Double or quits? Quits. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to play anymore. But you can't do that. The second rule, my father, tell me, always quit when you're winning. <laughs> Good evening, please. Ah, Ranjit, you're late. I thought you weren't coming. You've missed the first half of the session. A thousand apologies, but I'm falling asleep on the underground pew. Huh? I'm going right past my getting off stop and not waking up until Cocky Fosters. Cocky Fosters. <laughs> Perhaps you're working too hard. I am working three times too hard. What do you mean? Well, my proper job is working on the underground railway tube and I'm working the early morning shaft. <laughs> you mean shift? That is correct. I am working from 6 o'clock morning time until 2 o'clock afternoon time. Then I am doing other job for garage, pumping the petrol until 6 o'clock evening time. Well, even for, uh, for the time you spend here, you could still have eight hours sleep. Oh, no. When I am leaving here, I am working in public house until after the midnight. I think you are overdoing it, Ranjit. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. This Jack? You see, having three jobs also? <laughs> no, it's just a saying. Look, why are you working so hard? I'm saving up for the airplane. Oh, you want to buy an airplane? No, no. Just a ticket to Punjab. Ah, wait. Are you thinking of leaving us, Ranjit? Only for one week. My mother is being 60 years old this week. So, I'm giving her the big surprise of myself. <laughs> I am now having the money for the airplane ticket. 230 English pounds. That's a lot of money to carry around, Ranjit. You could be mugged on your way home. You are speaking absolute wisdom. Oh. Here, you keep for me. Me? Most certainly. Then if I am being mugged, the mugger man will not find money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's too good.
big a responsibility. Please, you keep for me until tomorrow, then I buy a ticket. Oh, very well. A thousand thank you, sir. Right, come along, everyone. We've got a lot of work to get through. Good, quickly now. Come on, if you want. Right, now, for the rest of this evening, we are going to have a debate. Now, can anybody tell me what the word debate means? And I don't want to hear anyone say, debate is what you put on the fishing line. <laughs> anybody tell me what a debate is? Come along, Suli, what is Parliament noted for? Collab politicians who make laws to oppress working classes. <laughs> Agreed. Well, that's what we call debating. Quite simply, it means to discuss or dispute a given subject, and that's what we're going to do, all right? Do you understand what we're talking about, Zoltan? But you are not. We're going to have a debate, an argument. Ah, a fight. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Not with fists, with mouth. Ah, Chris. Mm. What? <laughs> Chris with words. Look, just do your best to follow us, all right? Right, now, the first thing we need to do is find somebody to chair the debate. I'm good at that. Have you done it before? Sure. Every Saturday I go to chair my football team. <laughs> I'm talking about chair, not cheer. Excuse me. Right, well, I shall be the chairman. Now, what subject would you like to debate? Girls. <laughs> Girls is not a subject. Subjects for debates are usually in the form of questions. For example, uh, should men and women have equal pay for equal work? Should capital punishment be brought back? Should Enoch Powell be deported? <laughs> Yes, that's the general idea. Right, now, for our debate, I think we'll take the subject of television. Is television a good or bad influence on the community? All right? Now, we need two proposers and two opposers. In other words, two people to speak for good and two for bad. Juan, how about you? Por favor. <laughs> good or bad? Uh, sometimes I am good. <laughs> I, I am bad. But, uh, talking about you personally, Juan, do you think television is good? Uh, sometimes good, <laughs> sometimes bad. Make your mind up, Juan. In a debate, you can't sit on the fence. <laughs> I'm not sitting on the fence. I'm not sitting on the fence. <laughs> forget I asked you. Hey, what you asked me? Well, forget it. How can I forget it if I don't remember? <laughs> Never mind. That's all right. Right. Taro, you can be the first proposer. Arso. <laughs> now we need a lady. Uh, Jamila, you can be the second proposer. Gee. Now two opposers. Uh, Ali, how about you? Yes, please. And uh, Danielle? Am I good or bad? Bad. <laughs> oh, I like being bad because when I'm bad, I'm really good. <laughs> Now, well, just remember, we are talking about television. Right, now, pay attention, everyone. Tara will speak first with the proposition that television is good for the community. Go ahead, Tara. Awesome. <laughs> television is very good for everyone. Uh, more people watch it, more people buy it. And uh, Japan make best television. Japan make best everything. Castle, cameras, radios, yeah, Thank cassette. you, Taro. Just remember, you are speaking about television, not doing a commercial for Japan. <laughs> also, <laughs> television is good for teaching. I learn many English words from television, like uh, what a gay day. <laughs> also, don't forget to... Uh, Fruto, Gamso, Mamo. Uh, thank you, Taro. <laughs> right, uh, Danielle, would you uh, present your case against television? Yeah? Oui. I think television is very bad because it makes people stay up at night instead of going to bed to make love. <laughs> oh, everybody wants to go to bed to make love. Mm. Why not? That's right. Sometimes it's much better to make a love outside. <laughs> In Sweden, we make love everywhere. Whoa. Well, I think we are getting... <laughs> getting off the subject. Now, come along. Make love. Much better proposition than television. 
<laughs> Come on, uh, stick to the point, please, Danielle. Uh, I think television is very bad for the eyes. Yes, and also for the legs. <laughs> legs? Hey, my brother Miguel, he had bad legs from his television. Uh, how can your brother possibly have bad legs from his television? He dropped it on his foot. <laughs> Daniel. I cannot think of any more to say after this. Ah, right. Well, uh, Jimena, would you like to present your case for the good of television? <coughs> Gee. <clears throat> I am like very much the television. The television make people most happy with good, good program like Coronation Street. <laughs> Coronation Street? Ha. Huh. And last week, I am watching this week. Oh. <laughs> you watching this week? Last week? This week is the name of a program, Ranjit. Thousand apologies. <laughs> and also, television is be free. You have to buy the license. What license? <laughs> Haven't you got a television license? No, no need license. I'm sorry, Jamila, but you do. No. Look, it's an offence not to have one. If the detector van comes round, you could be heavily fined. No. Look, don't argue, Jamila. It's the law. Not for me. Why not for you? No have television set. <laughs> what next door? They have license. Thank you, Jamila. Right, Ali, your turn. Ah, uh, jelly good. <clears throat> I am thinking television is very bad because it is showing too much of the violence. Good point. Thank you. <laughs> Last night I'm seeing somebody been drowned, then shot and then had their heads chopped off. What was that, the professionals or Starsky and Hutch? Tom and Jerry. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Brown, can you spare a moment? Uh, just a moment, Miss Courtney. We're right in the middle of a very interesting debate. Could you wait just a minute, please? Certainly not. <laughs> oh, very well. Right, Giovanni, out here. Certainly, Professor. Right, would you take the chair? Sure. <laughs> I mean, will you chair the debate? Excuse me. Right. Let Ali finish and then uh, throw it open, give everybody a say, then take a vote, and if I'm still not back by then, you can dismiss the class and go home. All right? Okay. <laughs> okay. You heard what Professor is say? Ali's to finish, we have the talk, we have the vote, and then we go home. Okay? So yeah. You finish, Ali? No, I haven't. I was... You finish! <laughs> Anybody want to talk? No. Okay, we take the vote. Everybody think TV's okay? Put up at the hands. Everybody think TV's not okay? Put up at the hands. Ah, uh, we call it a draw. Class dismiss! <laughs> you going somewhere? Go for a drink, Miss Cole. No, thank you, Mr. Brown. I want to get to the post office in time to catch the last post. Ah. Oh, I wonder, would you post a letter for me? Yes, certainly. Yeah. Uh, that's the one. Right. Good night, then, Mr. Brown. Good night. Well, that's another day over, Sid. Yeah, worse luck. Yeah. Oh, I'm always glad to get home. You wouldn't say that you <laughs> was living with my missus. <laughs> hello, hello. What's the matter? Here. Here. It's full of bees and honey. Whose it is? I know whose it is now. It, oh, <laughs> it, don't you think you ought to take it into the police station? Darn me, pick a dilly, Granite. Fine as it's keepers. Oh, Sid! <laughs> Trouble. You certainly are. You're ten minutes late. No, no, no. Worse than that. I've lost 230 pounds that Ranjit gave me to look after. And how on earth did you manage to do that? I have no idea. It must have fallen out of my pocket. I've looked everywhere. I went to the police station to ask if anyone had handed it in, and they just laughed. I mean, what am I going to tell Ranjit? The truth, Mr. Brown. You had better do it in private. You can use my office. I will send him to you. Well... <laughs> 
I suppose the direct approach will be best. Ranjit, I have lost your money. Uh, no, no, I can't do that. It's too harsh. Better soften the blow a bit. Ranjit, come in. Uh, have a seat. Would you like a cup of tea? No, no. Ranjit, I have something to tell you. Are you sitting comfortably? Oh, no. I'm standing. <laughs> Sit down. Have a cup of tea. There isn't any tea. Ah, well, I, well, I'll get you. Miss Courtney said you had something to tell me. Yes, Ranjit, I am human. A and you are human. And human beings are fallible. I mean, I'm fallible and you're fallible. No, I'm Punjabi. <laughs> no, 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 what I'm trying to say, Ranjit, is... Well, I have lost your money. Did you hear me? The, the money you saved up to go and visit your mother with it, but I've, I've lost it. <laughs> Ranjit! <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Ranjit. Good evening. Hello, Sid. What's the matter? You look as if you lost hundred pounds and found ten p. There's many a true word spoken in jest. Oh, come on. Cheer up. Have a cigar. No, thanks. Can't be as bad as all that. It's worse. Well, look at me yesterday, I didn't have eight me. Today I can have a tenner on horse and take no notice. You couldn't lend me 230 pounds, could you? No chance. Oh. That's all there was in the envelope. <laughs> <laughs> what envelope? The envelope I found outside of school. Do you see me? <laughs> what are you talking about? That was Ranjit's money. Have you still got it? Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Why didn't you hand it in? Hey, hey, wait, what are you doing? Ranjit, we found your money. Oh! <laughs> Oh, praise be to the Lord. <laughs> I'm able to be seeing my mother. Oh, she'll be so happy to be seeing me. <gasps> There's only 130 pounds in here. That's right. Oh, where's the other hundred? Oh, here it is here. What is that? That's a betting slip. I've had under town on Rainbow's End in the 6.15 at the night race at Windsor. <laughs> 6.15? We can still make that. Come on, everybody, quickly. Oh, that's quickly. Mr. Brown, what is going on? Ah, we're just taking an early tea break um, in the betting shop. <laughs> the 6.15 at Windsor. The horses are lining up for the start. And there are. Come on, Rainbow's Head! And right away, it's Ernie's Boy in the lead, followed by Death Delight, Golden Wonder, and Skylark. Then comes Southern Peacock and Slimline. Where is Rainbow's Head? And bringing up the rear is Rainbow's Head. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the order at the bend, with Death Delight closing a little, and Skylark now overtaking Golden Wonder. Southern Peacock is dropping back. And who is this coming through on the inside? Rainbow's Head? Slimline. <laughs> <laughs> and as they come into the straight, it's still Ernie's Boy, Death Delight, and Skylark. And here's Rainbow's Head making a run on the outside. Oh, and with four furlongs to go, it's Ernie's Boy, Death's Delight, and Rainbow's End oh, now in first place. Oh, Ernie's son. Boy is pulling away slightly, but Rainbow's End has overtaken oh, him. And he's challenging strongly. Two furlongs to go, and Rainbow's End is gaining on oh, Ernie's Boy. Oh, and neck and neck as they come oh, to the post, and at the finish, it's Rainbow's End. Oh, Five to two, that's 250 quid. And it's under pound for you and the rest for me. Eh? Yeah, come on, let's go draw it. <laughs> for one moment, there's a steward's inquiry. The red flag's got up. Oh, blimey. It is a Russian horse. <laughs> Rainbow's end's been disqualified for bumping. And place last. We are so losing, and I won't be able to be visiting my time. mother. First, oh. <laughs> Oh, Ranjit. He was so much looking forward to seeing his mother. He will see his mother. But, Master G, he was going to be catch plane on Saturday. How will he be get £100 before then? Oh, we'll get it for it, even if we have to beg, borrow, or steal it. Yes. 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 Wives and sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Wish me. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You want a photograph? Very cheap. Three for one pound. <laughs> Buy pretty flowers for your pretty wife. No thanks. You want to buy flowers for pretty wife? Oh no thanks, Turkey. Salami <laughs> <laughs> sandwiches from here. All made from French bread. Shushini, shushini, <laughs> twenty please. Come on, shushini. How 
me your fortune stole by Madame Jamila. Come on, young man. Would you like to eat your fortune told? Now, sit down there. Madame Jamila killed this young man's fortune. Please do cross my palm with 50p. <laughs> Where's the lady? Hey, get one there. That is not the lady. I'm terribly sorry, sir. That's the lady there. I'll do much more for you to show you that you can be wrong. You can be wrong all the time. 25p and balloon. This is the Kaufman. So, yeah, yeah. So, there's one for you. Ah, Mr. Brown, please hold. Please hold. Good evening, Miss Courtney. Good evening, Mr. Brown. I hear you managed to raise the money for Mr. Singh's fare. Yes, he'll be at the airport now. How is he going? By plane or balloon? <laughs> oh, you heard about that. Yes. Yes, if that caretaker hadn't been on the roof to catch my legs, heaven knows where I'd be now. <laughs> where you usually are, Mr. Brown, with your head in the clouds. <laughs> Well, firstly, may I say thank you for all your efforts yesterday to help raise the fare for Ranjit. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, it was a remarkable effort, which is more than I can say for your homework. <laughs> I am not happy with your answers. And we are also not happy with the questions. <laughs> I've got an idea. You're not happy, we're not happy. So if you not give us any homework, we both be happy. I'll be happy. <laughs> Silence. Look. In future, you will be given extra homework, and I hope that I see some improvement. Some of you are just simply not trying. For example, Max. The opposite of anti-Meridian is not Uncle Meridian, but post-Meridian. <laughs> OK. You know what you're laughing about, Giovanni? Your answer to the question, write a sentence using a metaphor, was unbelievable. But I did write a sentence using a metaphor. Oh, yes. Last night, I phoned my girlfriend and a metaphor a drink. <laughs> For yes, your please. information, a polygon is a term used to describe a figure with angles and sides and has nothing whatsoever to do with the disappearing parrot. <laughs> Brown, this lady would to have a word with you. Ah, a new pupil. Would you like to sit over there? No, sit. Look for Ranjit. Ah, well, I'm afraid he's not here. He's gone over this weekend to visit his mother as a surprise for her birthday. Hi, Rapa. Mm. That is terrible. Why, what's the matter? I am his mother. Yes. I am his mother. <laughs> For my birthday to surprise Ranjit. You're a girl. Oh, you yeah. must have crossed. Oh, my God. Oh, my Thank you. Sugar's on the table. There's a cup of tea bread. 
tour. One of these days, Sid, you'll actually buy one. And I'll drop down dead with shock. Buy one? Yes. Tea is, is free. It's one of the perks that goes with his job. Oh? How are you off for a bit of a touch? It, I beg your pardon? I'm talking about money. I, I, I'm brassically. Y you're always skint, Sid. I'm sorry. No. Oh. Hello, lad. Hello, Sid. Ah, oh, how are you, my old Japan? <laughs> Japan? My old Japan, your rhyming slang meaning friend. No, not Japan, you mean China. The old China plate, me mate. <laughs> Jelly goods. <laughs> I don't suppose any of you boys could... No, no, no Sid. Sid. <laughs> it's only till payday. No understand. Sorry, please. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Gladys. You must have packed the car from under the counter, will you? I've got to get some money somehow. Well, what are you going to do? I'm going to play a little game of find the lady. Oh. oh Nobody yes. might want to play. Oh, they'll have to play when I give them the old come on. Uh, come on what? Yeah, well, you know I've only got a quid till payday. Yeah. Well, if I let somebody win that, they can't stop. It never fails. Oh. Now, all I've got to do now is find a mug. Oh. Coffee, please. Hello, mug. Uh, uh, Max. <laughs> <laughs> Max, uh, would you, uh... No, Sid. No, no, I'm not trying to trap you. I thought perhaps you might like a game of cards. I don't like to gamble. Oh, don't be silly. It's only for a bit of fun. Come on, sit down and enjoy yourself. This is called Find the Lady, you see. Now, the lady is a...